Hey guys, so I pulled the Letizia out of the ground and I put it in a three gallon grow bag and we're going to bury this as a test to see if here in zone 5B in cold Illinois, we could buy, uh, do the old, Italian old man method of burying a tree, fig tree, and then uh, digging it back out in the spring uh, and see if it survives. I'm going to, I was going to put um, Christmas lights and such, but I decided against it. I'm going to try out, because I'm only trying one tree out, I'm going to be a little bit more uh, risky in my method and see if we can just bury it and um, if that will do the trick, if, if we can get it to survive. So stay tuned. I'm just going to use some heavy paper to wrap around the main trunk of the tree, if you want to call it that. <laughs> it's so skinny. This is a first year fig tree from a cutting, Letizia. Um, and it doesn't even look like it's fully lignified. I'm sure I'm going to lose that tip, but uh, so that'll be great to see whether, I mean, chances are we'll lose it, but if we say, if we could keep it and uh, uh, it actually uh, grows off of, I mean, continues the growth next spring, that will be awesome, but not expecting it. Again, it's not fully lignified. And so this is a true test. Okay, we've got the paper around the main trunk. Now we're going to pile on the dirt. I've got a lot of topsoil here. I'm going to just dump it all over the top. more bags I'll go get the bags and dump them on top as well so I added my other two bags of topsoil to the pile and so you could I could safely say that it would have been equivalent to three bags of topsoil what I had in the big container um, and then these two total of three bags for uh, this fig tree, which was about, I'm going to say about, you know, 28 or so inches high. And then with the base, with the roots, I would say a total of three feet. Okay. Um, and so what I'll do now is cover it with a moving blanket. Maybe I open it up some more. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh god, it's so hard to do this one-handed. Alright, I folded it a little bit. Now that fits up there. I would have used a tarp, but it's such a small tree that um I already used my small tarp for the corkies, so I'm just going to use this plastic here that I found. Sort of like poncho material. Anyway, I'm going to smooth that over, put a few uh, big rocks to hold it down, and then we'll be right back. Voila! We are done. Okay again till spring 2023. We'll be back and see what happens. <laughs> 